I'll get a good estimate to come out. We've got a bull grill here, and what we've done is put a custom paint job on it. And when you walk up, you're going to see the back as you walk in the front. But when you walk up and see the top, and the light hits it just right, we've got that beautiful whiskey color shining through. So I encourage you to come by and see it. And Steve, we'd like to give this to you and Jack Daniels as a token of our appreciation for having us here, but also for creating future Jacks to come. Kingsford written all over his trailer though, folks. Where is Chris Lilly and Big Bob Gibson?
uh, middle school, high school, girls softball team, okay? Miss Michelle Eastlick worked with them all day today, and Miss Michelle filled in a few years ago for Miss Debbie Christian, who's our coordinator, and she's a great friend to barbecue, let me tell you. Well, I, I know that raising money in Lynchburg isn't always the easiest thing in the world to do, and the girls' softball complex really needed a, a girls' softball building for dressing rooms and locker rooms, and they've got an indoor hitting, hitting a, a cage in there, as well as a lot of extra space at concession stands that never had this here in Moore County. Well, George donated this grill, and today everybody was putting $10 in for a one-shot opportunity to win this grill. They raised $4,000 today. see us today, the 25,000 or so that came to see us today, I don't know that she could have raised that kind of money any other way. So, it would have took a lot of donuts and a lot of car washes, wouldn't it, Miss Michelle? Alright, so in one day we've raised this money, so now we're going to draw the winner right out of this bucket. And believe it or not, Mr. George has promised to actually ship this to the winner for free. So... Okay, the winner is M.K. Simmons from Lynchburg, Tennessee. Are you in the audience? Okay, you're not in the audience, but I guess you just saved a few bucks on shipping there, George. <laughs> All right, there's your winner. You're welcome. Support these guys when you think about what shopping for any of these products. They are wonderful. Wow, what a primo grill. That is incredible. George, that is phenomenal. Thank you so much for contributing that and all you do on behalf of the Jack as well. Also, I want to uh, give a little shout out to uh, Jeff Arnett, our master distiller. Jeff, come on up. The number seven master distiller, Jeff Barnett, you do such a wonderful job. Here he is. Here's the guy keeping the secret going for all these years. Consistent. I love what you do, Jeff. I love what this guy does, too. I can't. I'm just well, the microphone. But anyway, I, I hope you guys have been doing today. This has been one of my favorite days. It always is every year. The weather just couldn't have cooperated any more than it, than it did today. But uh, for all of you guys here, I want to wish you the very best. And I want you to just be reminded that even if your name's not called today, you're still winners. Uh, you, all right, all right. you wouldn't be here if you weren't winners. And we're, and we're proud to have you. Jeff, thank you. Incredible. All right. How about Jack Daniels' first salesman, Angelo Lucchese? Is Angelo out here? Yes. An incredible man. Just turned 90 and still going. We love Angelo Lucchese, a true brand ambassador. We love him, and we want to thank a couple of other uh, great people. Uh, David Hall, thank you for coming out. Howard Steinberg, thanks for judging again. Number two, a great brand ambassador as well. We had 25,000 people this year. That's a great crowd, and what a beautiful day. So a big turnout uh, for this year's The Jack Competition. Incredible. So uh, anyway, we're going to get underway really quickly now because we're going to bring up uh, our MC. Let's see, is Chip here? Chip Chapman, everybody, our MC. No, nope, he's not. We're still uh, tabulating. We're still looking. Uh, they're, again, they're tabulating the winners. They want to make sure they do a correct job. want to give a big shout out to Kansas City Barbecue Society. They were phenomenal. They, I'll tell you, they really keep this event on track. 
and uh, all the judges. Thank you, judges, for uh, contributing today. That's a big job. That is a big job. I was able to judge it last year, and I'll tell you, it's a tough job. It's not that easy, but uh, it's also fun. But uh, and those incredible desserts as well. Wow! I'm telling you, every year it's amazing what goes on with uh, those incredible desserts that everybody's doing. So, just a phenomenal thing. I'll tell you. Also, uh, hey, I was talking to Artie Davis. Artie, can I come on up here for a second? Can I talk to you? Artie has judged 22 out of 23 Jack Barbecues. Artie? It's an honor and a pleasure always to come here. I'll tell you, I mean 22 out of 23, that's a great, great uh, a tribute, I'm telling you. And you never get tired of it, do you? Never, never at all. No, it's, it's fun. It's, as you say, it's a hard job, but it's fun. It's good. So again, here's professionals like Artie that are judging this, which they should. Every one of, every one of our contestants around the globe, all professionals in what they do. 23 years ago, the little gazebo up right off the square is where we had awards. And 30 teams. Well, 30 teams, and uh, but still, quite an honor that you have the very first award. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Sir Paul. Paul Kirk, our first uh, grand champion. And like I said, soon we're going to find out who the 23rd grand All right, can you tell who the MC is for this evening? Here he is. Chip Chapman. You are what a thank you, Chip. Tim, thank you. What an incredible warm-up. It's a hard act to follow. How is everybody in Lynchburg? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem.
Tony and I began working together on I Know Jack eight years ago, I think it was. What a great loss. An incredible loss, not only to his friends and his family, but the entire barbecue community. All of us who knew Tony and loved him felt like we had lost a member of the family. And not just any member of the family, it was Papa Tony Stone. Here to present one of our keynote awards is a longtime friend of Tony's and a longtime friend of mine, Carolyn Wells from the Kansas City Barbecue Society. Paul Kirk for this and Mike Mills. Mike Mills or even this. Mike Mills. Where is another one of our barbecue royalty royalties? Here he comes, I see him in the back. Wearing that Tennessee orange, he's sort of hard to miss. He has been here for many, many years. He has actually won the overall I Know Jack. Served as a judge here for many years. Please make him feel welcome. The legendary Mike Mills. This award is presented by the past recipients, so we would like to present this award to Tony, to Julie and Melinda Stone, and whoever in their family is here. Could you please come forward? But at the end of the day, after all the hard work was done, he knew that it was towels down and cups up. Thank you all so much for letting us be a part of your family and for being such a part of our parents' family. This is a great honor. Thank you. Contest goes forward. A representative of the Tone, uh, the Tony Stone family, will be at the judges' table from here on out. <laughs> Another thing you may not know is Jasper the pig that we burn up on the hill every Friday. Tony Stone is the one who built that. That pig has seen a lot of things, and we've all had our, had our fun with Jasper the pig. I wish Tony hadn't made it quite so heavy, but in everything else he did, Tony sort of went a little over and above board, just like he did with Jasper the pig. His loss will be felt here in the barbecue community forever, but his spirit will also live on forever. One more round of applause. Next up, we have our own event coordinator, my good friend Debbie Christian. Debbie is here. And Debbie 
is here to present another very special award. Debbie. Thank you, Chad. Um, a, a lot of individuals don't realize that our competition is run on the backbone of volunteer work. And uh, this award is really just to kind of honor the work and, and let these folks know that come here and spend weeks at a time to help me put this event on, that they're truly, truly appreciated. And this year is it's actually a wonderful, great thing. Sometimes I get volunteers in pairs. <laughs> I get two for the price of one. And, and these two people are near and dear to my heart. And I, I, I can't thank them enough for the time and actually dedication they put into this event for me, for me because no matter what I ask of them, they do it. And it, it just amazes me. And, and they never complain. They never complain. They just do it. Um, so this year, the Fred Gould Memorial Volunteer of the Year Award goes to Dennis and Linda Polson. extensively during the Idaho Jack this year, and I gotta tell you, Debbie Trite, they're incredibly hard workers and very, very deserving of this volunteer of the year award. Tennessee. We have another one of our good friends and another one of our sponsors here to present yet another award from Barbecuers Delight. Please make welcome Candy Weaver. Hi, Candy. Thank you, Katie. Let's hear it for 
Lake up to the stage for a moment. Mike Lake. You can keep the applause coming, it's all right. Mike. Folks, uh, there's our one individual in here that uh, we're going to recognize who just earned her Master Judge's badge. And I would like to bring uh, Marge Plummer up here to help make this presentation. I'd like to bring Pamela Grooms up, Marge's daughter. <laughs> Marge contacted me about six weeks ago and uh, said her daughter was uh, going to be uh, sending her master's test to me. And she wanted to make it kind of special. And what more could be special than to present her master judge's badge and certificate here at the Jack. Congratulations, Pamela. Certainly two very special ladies. What incredible award. Mike Lake, thank you very much. Let's hear it for Mike. We'd also like to recognize each of our sponsors again here. Emil Henry. Is it Emil? I never can get that right. Emil Henry. Uh, our friends at PV, great sound system. Beautiful guitar here that we're giving away a little bit later on. Master Distiller Jeff Arnett autographed this a little bit earlier today. Thank you to Peavy. Western Premium Barbecue Products, they made a huge donation. We certainly thank you for that. Diamond Gusset, thank you as well. American Grillmaster and Bull Outdoor. Heinz, Barbecuers Delight. Where's Candy again? Candy, I know you're, where'd you go? Where'd Candy Weaver go? Thanks, Candy. We appreciate it very much. Our friends at uh, Hammerstall, incredible, incredible cutlery here. I don't know if you've had a chance to stop by their booth or not. A lot of you will be getting these incredible, beautiful, sharp cleavers that have the Jack Daniels 2011 World Championship Invitation Barbecue logo engraved on it. So a big hand for the folks at Hammerstall. Wow Bill's Old Fashioned Soda, Sam's Club, these guys have been a tremendous player. Sam's Club, thank you so much. And of course, our friend, gentleman George Samaras and the gang from Primo Grills and Smokers. Put your hands together for all of our incredible sponsors. And the biggest sponsor of all, our friends here at the Jack Daniel Distillery, Steve Miami. Jeff Arnett, we thank you very much. Debbie, we thank you very much as well. All the folks at Jack Daniel, let's give them another huge round of applause. First category we have is the I Know Jack About Grilling. I gotta tell you, when they told me I was gonna help do that, I knew I knew Jack About Grilling. I realized I didn't know Jack about how Tony put that on. A lot of work goes into that contest, and I think Tony would have been proud of the winners that we have for this particular contest. And the winner of $1,000, wow, $1,000, and an incredible engraved barrel head. Ready? Here's a name you probably heard before. <laughs> IQ! Not only do they get the $1,000, but 
the barrel head, but they get the Emil Henry. What what is this whole cookware set? What do you call this?
picture, if you would, around to the backdrop in the back. We're all now to the heart of the categories. It's time for the sauce shows. We have ribbons, first through tenth place. Places six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We'd like for you to get your ribbon and go out back and have your picture taken by our designated photographer out there. Okay? That'll help speed things along a little bit and get us rolling right along. So God. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. I figured she'd be in that reaction. That a baby. Coming in. Tenth place in the sauce category in the 23rd annual Jack Piggy D's Barbecue. Piggy D's. Ninth place. You know, for barbecue competitions, there are some team names that are sort of universal. You hear them just about everywhere. Ninth place, here, Piggy Piggy. Here, Piggy Piggy. Where's here, Piggy Piggy Barbecue? Okay, tell them to come get their ribbon, get your whiskey, and go out back. Oh, you want, you want Tim and I to take care of your whiskey for you, is that right? <laughs> I think we just wanted you to say, here, take me, take me one more time. Let's do it together. Eighth place. One more round of applause for here, Piggy Piggy. Eighth place in the sauce category is Smoke on Wheels. Are you ready? 
Yeah. We've got uh, a trophy, a bottle of whiskey, and a check for $100 in the fifth place sauce category to the Drunken Brisket. Yeah. The Drunken Brisket. You know, if they had a vote for a coolest team name, the Drunken Brisket would have to be right on up there. From Lumpus, Texas. Where are they? Here they come.
Are you ready? Choice Awards now, and we have a uh, we have three three places for this. Coach right. Choice Award. This is where they, I got to tell you, some of the dishes these folks are absolutely incredible. They look good. They taste it even better. And we're going to make them tell us what they made. Isn't that right? Third place from Sperry, Oklahoma, Buffalo's Barbecue. and then slit holes through the middle and stuff them with uh, grilled lobster and a semi-stinky Portuguese cheese. And then put it on a bed of uh, Sazio cheese and mascarpone risotto and some raw lobster. You're killing me. Congratulations. The Barrelhead, the goodies from Lodge Manufacturing, and a bottle of whiskey. He's going home to Kansas City, Kansas. Smoke on wheels!
Martin who hope took it from the homeland. Third place, Switzerland! Chicken ever. All right, 
we're getting ready to find out. What we're going to do is the same thing as we did in the sauce category. We're going to start with 10th place. We're going to work our way up to first place. We're asking that places 6 through 10 come get your, your envelopes, if applicable, your whiskey, and go back and have your pictures made if you would, please. My buddy Tim Laird, the Chief Entertainment Officer for this great Jack Daniel Distillery, is going to announce your winners in the chicken category. Tim. All right, thank you, Chip. All right. Nujolo Barbecue. Is that right? Is that close? What is it? <laughs> Number 10. Deguelo Barbecue. All right. Nine. Big Creek Barbecue. Big Creek. That's exciting, Chip. I knew there was some good chicken. I walked around and did a lot of smelling and really tasting, and, and these folks absolutely outdid themselves. Tim, we're ready for our winners in the chicken category. All right, here we go. Starting out at the fifth place. These guys, a hundred dollars, hundred dollars. All right, the Mutant Hogs at the Hilton. Sharp objects, but I promise they 
Isn't that, isn't that incredible? This is incredible. Very razor sharp. This is an expensive tool. Very nice. Thank you. All right, here it is. Thousand dollars. First place chicken category from Fargo, North Dakota. Spitfire. And they also get a lot of this great Rosalie barbecue uh, baking wear, barbecue and grilling and baking stuff. And that is a lot of stuff.
Congratulations again, Buffalo's Barbecue. Third place, winning $300, a trophy, and a bottle, and a ribbon. They're from just down the road, not far away at all. Big Bob gets his barbecue.
They've been winners before. Swiggin' Pig! All right, number six, Southern Exposure. Thank you all. All right, number five, from Naples, Florida, Big Papa's Country Kitchen, $100, a bottle of Jack and a statue. Oh, 
Do we know me? Second place in the brisket category. Another repeat winner this evening from Bear, Delaware. It's GoldHagen.com. so far tonight have been using Western Premium Barbecue products. Just making that little point of reference clear. All right, are we ready for the first place in the brisket category? We're almost ready, first place in the brisket category. And as you know, Tim, brisket is not an easy, easy dish to prepare at all. I'll tell you what, if you don't do it right, it's going to come out tough and not tasty good. But I know everybody did it right because I talked to most of the judges. As did you, Jeff, but I know that it looked good and tasted good. Tasted incredible. But the best tasting brisket of all at the 23rd Annual Jack Daniels World Invitational Barbecue was prepared by the team from Round Lake, Illinois. Barbecue! <laughs> Let's go. 
I watch it, I can't wait to hear what they did to uh, with the first place prize. Dessert's one of my favorites too. I really I always save room for dessert. I always start meals with dessert. That's okay with me. So you start with dessert, the end with dessert. You made the full circle. Let's find out what let's do. Alright. One more picture for the first place winners. Well, we gotta get one more. They're all smiling. All right, man. What was the? Uh, what would you guys make for dessert? What was your dessert entry? Oh, this sounds delicious. You get, you gotta explain what that is. I mean, this oh, it sounds great. Cool factor work up a little bit. Not that he needed it. Oh yeah, spike it. How about a big round for our returning friend, Mr. Guy Fieri?
And before we get too busy, we want to go down here and thank our friend Jeff Arnett at the Jack Daniel Distillery. Jeff, congratulations again for helping put on such a superb event. And I just want to thank everybody again for coming. Like I said, this event would be nothing without you. We're so glad you're here. You make it what it is. Please come back next year. We'd love to see you again. Taking home a beautiful banner, a big cleaver, a big trophy, and a big check. Because you know when it comes to check, sometimes size does matter. Second place, or not second place, but the reserve grand champion. And this is overall. How about another big Lynchburg welcome for Big Bob Gibson's
time on behalf of all of the folks here associated with Jack Daniel, I think this has been a pretty happy turnout. I'm telling you, what a great turnout. Fantastic job. This is incredible. I mean, this was awesome, Chuck. Uh, this has got to be one of the biggest crowds I've ever seen at one of these events. 24,000 people showed up, and let's try to go for more next year. What do you think, Chuck? That's plus the record. Tim, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you here next year. Thank you. Great pleasure. Thank you.